Hey everyone, Anthony here. So let me ask you something. Have you ever woken up, checked your email, and BAM! Found that your credit card was just gone. Yeah, not the best way to start your day, right? Well, today I want to share something recently happened to me with my X1 credit card. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this one. So here's the deal. I got an alert from my FICO and it said one of my accounts was closed. Immediately I'm thinking, wait, what? I checked and sure enough, it was my X1 card. Now I hadn't used that card in a minute, maybe, you know, uh, maybe six months or so, but normally you get some kind of a heads up before a car gets shut down, right? Not this time. It just shut down, no notice, no email, no application, notification, nothing. So now, unfortunately, you know, now I'm, I'm lucky. I got other cards, you know, I have, I have probably too many. Um, so I'm not hurting for available credit, but still losing 23,000 in available credit overnight is no joke, right? And I know some of you, if the X1 is your main card or maybe even your only card, this could hit you hard. Imagine checking your account and seeing a big chunk of your credit limit gone. No warning, no chance um, to do anything, you know, no chance to do anything about it. That's wild, right? So naturally I reached out to X1's customer service to figure out what happened, right? And they just said the account was closed because I haven't been using it. I said, uh, I said okay, that's it. And apparently there was nothing they could do about it. So, you know, that's very frustrating because most cards at least give you a chance to put some activity on it before, you know, they go ahead and just shut it down, right? So, uh, doing a little bit of research, <laughs> uh, and in the community, right? So, here's kind of like the community experience that I noticed. So, um, and, and this is where it gets more interesting, right? So turns out I'm not alone. So I've been digging around and it looks like the X1 has been on a spree lately, closing accounts, even slashing people credit limits. Some users have had their credit limits drop to a hundred dollars. Yeah, seriously, a hundred bucks. Imagine having your credit limit just poof, gone like that. I even read one comment where someone speculated it might be tied to the Robin Hood's new gold card rolled out. Maybe X1 is trying to downsize its customer base, who knows. But whatever the reason, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. So impact on your credit. So for those who might not know, when losing a big chunk of available credit, it messes with your credit utilization ratio, right? And it's a big factor in your credit score. So if X1 is your only credit card and they close it, your credit score could take a hit. Just something to keep in mind, okay? What can you do? So, so what can you do if you sock George your X1 card or any card or any credit card for that matter? First off, I want, if you want to avoid this kind of thing happening, you know, it's probably a good idea to put some small charge on your card every few months, maybe a $10 subscription or grabbing a few groceries, just enough to keep the card active and avoid closures. Now, what I do, you know, since I have so many cards myself, <laughs> you know, I have, I have some cards set up on like a small subscription, right? That way it kind of keeps, keeps activity on the card so they don't close it, right? Um, and like I said, and if X1 has already slashed your limit or closed your account, it might be time to start looking for another card. All right, something that's more reliable, uh, especially if you need that extra credit limit to keep your utilization uh, low. Um, now, the card I'm using every day, which I guess I could just maybe just pull it out for you guys, is, you know, uh, the double cash card. Now, what I like about this card, I mean, there's a lot of features, but it, it's basically 2%. You get 1% on the purchase and you get 1% when you make the payment. So that's 2% overall. So I, I think it's a pretty good card. 
So that's my everyday car that I use for everything. Um, but anyway, let's get back to it. So, so final thoughts. Look at, you know, look, at the end of the day, credit card companies can close accounts, cut your limit, you know, whenever they want. It, it's in the fine print, but a little heads up would have been nice, right? <laughs> so uh, if this has happened to you or you're worried it might, you know, or you're worried it might, uh, you know, affect your credit a lot, you know, drop a comment below, you know, let, let's talk about it. Um, I love to hear your experiences and, you know, what steps you've taken to avoid this. But it, maybe in this case, it's unavoidable. You know, maybe we're, you know, whoever has the excellent card, you know, we're done, you know, which is unfortunate because I, I did like some of the features. I mean, it's not the best car, but I did like some of the features it had, you know, where you can create a trial card and all that. But um, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more insights just like this. And if you've been hit by surprise, close the count like me. Let me know in the comments. We're all in this credit game together. I'll see you in my next one.